Troubleshooting is not just a part of an IT career, it's a part of life. The ability to troubleshoot a wide range of problems is one of the most valuable skills you can develop, not only for problems at work, but also for problems at home. Effective troubleshooting skills are valuable not only with mechanical and electronic devices, but also in solving problems in relationships with our fellow humans and even with our four-legged brothers and sisters. The reality is that life is not perfect. It's not even generally smooth. Our ability to navigate the potholes and rough breaks in the road of life can make the difference between happiness and frustration, between life successes or ongoing life struggles. Troubleshooting involves an orderly process of identifying the problem, identifying the cause of the problem, considering a range of possible solutions, and choosing and implementing the best solution. With that in mind, here are four steps for how to troubleshoot effectively, whether it's a problem with a computer, a firewall, a network, a car, or a friendship, or even a marriage. Step number one, identify the problem. Gather information. Start by gathering as much information as possible. Avoid any preconceived notions or prejudices that might cloud your judgment or obscure your vision of the whole truth. Sometimes the actual problem is not what first appears. Ask lots of open-ended questions. Some examples of good questions to ask include, what are the symptoms? How long has this been occurring? How did you first notice the problem? Is anyone else affected? What steps have already been taken in regard to the problem? Withhold judgment until you've gathered as much information as possible. Step two, identify the cause of the problem. What is different now compared to when things were working? what was happening when the problem occurred, or when things stopped working. Start by checking the most basic of possible causes, such as whether a device is properly plugged in or otherwise connected. Try changing one thing, perhaps an electrical plug, to see if the problem goes away. Now change only one thing at a time, otherwise, if the problem is resolved, you won't know what solved it. Step number three, consider a range of possible solutions. What are all the possible solutions to the problem? Even consider some that may seem outrageous because such solutions might lead you to the best solution. Of course, you must also consider the urgency of the problem. If the problem is causing a major network outage, for example, it may be necessary to quickly implement a temporary solution to restore network services immediately while a longer term solution is researched and then implemented. Finally, step four, choose and implement the best solution. After considering all the possible solutions, choose the best solution in terms of a positive outcome for all stakeholders, including the customer or end user, your organization, your coworkers, and yourself. Remember the guidance given to doctors as they graduate from medical school, primum non nocere, or first, do no harm. Once you've chosen the best solution, prepare to implement it. Depending on the nature of the solution, you may need to make backups or alert end users to a temporary shutdown while the solution is implemented. Again, depending on the nature of the solution, you may need to schedule it for after hours or on a weekend. For more ideas on how to improve communication and customer service skills, bring my one-day IT customer service training seminar on-site to your location for your group, small or large. Visit www.doncrawley.com for the course description and outline. Or pick up a copy of my IT customer service book, The Compassionate Geek. How engineers, IT pros, and other tech specialists can master human relations skills to deliver outstanding customer service. Available in Kindle and paperback editions through Amazon and other resellers. To recap, identify the problem, then identify the cause of the problem. Next, consider a range of possible solutions and finally implement the best one based on achieving a positive outcome for all stakeholders, including the customer or end user, your organization, your colleagues, and yourself. Successfully troubleshooting a problem can be immensely rewarding, both in terms of personal satisfaction and also because you're able to help your fellow humans. I'm Don Crawley. I'll see you next time.